Good evening, everyone, and we have an interesting cast tonight. It is from our 2nd Battalion European Friends, and it's going to be our first inter-squad cast. So this is going to be very exciting. So let's get it started. We have Taurus here as our yellow Terran, and then we have his friend Virox here as our Teal Zerg. And it's going to be on the old school map Lost Temple. So we got our Zelnaga Tower right here and right here with our natural right here and our gold right here. And Virox's natural right here and his gold right here. So easily defendable gold and natural expansions. Then we have another base right here and another base right here with ex expansions all over the rest of the map. And it looks like Vira uh, Taurus is throwing down his first supply depot. And it looks like Virox here is just droning it up. So let's open up the production tab here. Uh, let's keep an eye on the units. There we go. Looks like he's sending out his first overlord, or second overlord do some additional scouting. His first overlord has now found Taurus, so he's just going to chill right here, make sure Taurus doesn't do anything, any shenanigans. And it looks like Taurus here is scouting the map looking for Virox. Hopefully he'll find him pretty soon. Let's see, it looks like Taurus is now getting his barracks up, and his first refinery is going down, making some SCVs. Looks like Virox is still doing the, still drawing up, and the spawning pool is now under construction. Still, this SEV still scouting the map for Taurus. Barracks almost finished. Looks like he's getting some more guys on the gas here, making another SEV. Pretty standard Terran opening. And now the orbital command is coming in for some mules, making a marine right there for some uh, defense. It looks like Virox's spawning pool's just completed, as well as his extractor for some gas. Doesn't have any drones on the gas at the moment. See so what he's making here: some zerglings and another overlord. Got to make those overlords. Looks like now his gas. That got some drones on his gas and looks like let's see Verox has now found out that Taurus knows where he is looks like Verox is going to go for a fast expand trying to get that SCV out looks like this SCV is in full retreat doesn't want to get killed by these zerglings here another supply depot by Taurus and looks like this barracks is going to get a tech lab let's see what this marine is going to do Defending that SCV, but ooh, was able to kill one of the Zerglings before he eventually fell. Looks like the Zergling here is gonna get killed by this other Marine. And looks like this Marine is gonna hightail it back to the base for to protect it a little bit. Looks like he's building a factory right, factory right here, getting another barracks up. Looks like Virox's expansion is almost complete here. Got a queen out now at his main, throwing down some more lava eggs. Looks like Taurus right here has full control of the Zell Naga Tower, so he's able to see anything that comes in within range. It looks like Virox is overlord is doing some crafty little scouting here, make sure Taurus doesn't do any kind of Terran shenanigans. And looks like this Marauder here is going to be the only defense Taurus has right now. Make another Marauder. Looks like a uh, reactor is going on this barracks right here. This guy's orbital command done with the mule. Oh, and Taurus supply blocked himself. Oh, no. Looks like that supply just finished. Good thing. Got his other 
We firing you up and going. Looks like he's making his stall port right here. Going to the three racks. Okay. Got some marauders here protecting the base. And Virox has seen those three racks. Let's take a look at the income here. Both guys. Oh, that's the income. That's resources. There we go. Taurus a little high on resources. Virox. Well, now they're probably even on the resource intake and outtake. You know, pretty even no. Looks like Virox has a little high on gas. So let's see what Virox is making here. Looks like he's getting his naturals up and running. Sent some drones over here to mine that. Got a queen at his natural, some zerglings protecting it. Let's see what Taurus... Oh no, Taurus supply blocked himself again! That is not good. Especially if Virox decides to do some kind of crazy zergling rush. If he's able to get through these guys right here, Virox has no way of making any additional units to protect his base. So hopefully he'll get some supply depots out. Looks like the supply depot is almost done. And it is complete. So he's able to produce some more units here. Got a rally point outside his base, so he can protect it. Got a drop ship going. Looks like he's getting a tech lab out, and I heard something going on. That was very related back here. Not seeing anything, so I'm not sure. There's more supply depots out. So it's not supply capped, making another medevac dropship. And it looks like he's loaded up that dropship. Some Terran shenanigans are on the way. Nothing producing out of his factory right here. Making looks like another tech lab went up. Let's see what he's researching. Looks like he's researched stem and concussive grenade. Or stem is researching right now. and doing the plus one attack upgrade. Looks like the dropship's going the long way around. Let's see here. Looks like Virox is getting his an extractor build on his expansion. Got some banelings out now. Yeah. I love banelings. So funny when you just see the whole Terran army get decimated by a few banelings. It's very sad, but Looks like this drop ship is now going to drop down. Oh, and he, and he did a drop up the mineral line, destroyed a few drones, but th these other drones are treated. And oh, those Banelings almost had that Terran army, but the drop ship saw that coming and picked up his friends. It was so nice of that drop ship to pick up his buddies. Looks like these guys are just gonna chill up there now that now that they know Banelings are down there protecting that mineral line. So you got another drop ship in here. Oh, with the tank! Oh yeah, got some tank stuff going. Ooh, and the siege mode is almost complete. This will be very interesting. And it looks like Taurus is not hiding the fact that he has drop ships. So let's see what Taurus is. Oh, there's the siege tank. Oh, it's sieging. There's that marine is. Oh, there goes the siege. And the siege attacking those drones. They killed off one drone. I see the range. Oh, it's just in range of that of that hatchery. So now it's just gonna sit there and seize that hatchery because Virox has no air at all, and he cannot get up there. Looks like at some point there was another hatchery built up built here with the Queen. Probably to make additional units. Spire going up trying to get that air. I think he's going to lose his, his expansion here before that Spire gets complete. I don't know, it'll be very interesting to see here. These Marines and Marauders still just chilling here because those Banelings are a 
threat to him if they ever set foot here on the ground. It looks like he's going to take that risk too. Dropping off the guys here. The Zerglings move in. The Queen's trying to move in. The hatchery still getting sieged. Some more Zerglings coming in. They're going to try. They're getting sieged. They're retreating. Still sieging those Zerglings. Now turning all attention onto this hatchery. It's just sitting there sieging the hatchery. I'd like to see another siege tank come right here. Looks like another drop trying to kill off that hatchery. Yeah, they're going to be able to do that. That siege tank's provide excellent cover from those bailings. And he was able to take out the hatchery. That's freaking crazy. Looks like he's just done his damage. He's going to go and try to do some more shenanigans, drops, but that queen is attacking it. Is she going to kill off that transport ship? No. Transport ship has survived. Oh, and there is the mutilus. He got out of there as fast as he could. Still, the loss of the expansion really hurt Virox. Hopefully, let's hope he can come back from it. But I don't know. Looks like he's going to throw down another expansion. And it looks like Taurus right here is now expanded to this island, to where only air units can get out. But now that he knows that they're mutilisks, maybe yep, there he goes. He's building his missile turret first. Getting another, another orbital command. Looks like his natural's now up and running. Getting his second refinery as natural. Let's see what he's got as his base. Another siege tank. Uh, another tank. Another tank. A bunch of marines and marauders and some medevacs. No anti air going down yet. He has an armory, so maybe we'll see some Thors. Oh, there we go, Thors. And it looks like Virox has an exp another expansion right here. I guess sometime during that attack, he ex he expanded, but he's not really doing anything with it. Oh, there we go. There's the drones coming alive. Let's see right right here. Oh, is this a bailing drop? Oh, that'll be awesome. It looks like it's a zergling drop. Oh, there's some bailings in there. Hell yeah, bailing drop. Ooh, those missiles might kill off those observer, those overlords. They're trying to. They, he's dropping them, dropping them. Those bailings, those bailings are now out on the field. Oh yeah, this is gonna be awesome. The Zergling is taking out those turrets. Going for the mineral line attack. Looks like the bailings have gotten back into. The overlords, yeah, we are gonna see a bailing drop. This is gonna be sweet if they survive this. He's trying to get his overlords out there. Come on, bailing drop! Come on, bailing drop! No, he's losing his overlords with the bailings in them. No, come on, bailing drop! Oh, there goes one bailing drop, but not enough to really hurt Taurus there because he lost most of the overlords that carried his bailings. Oh, that sucks. Bailing drops are some of the awesome drops they do for the Zerg. They just tortured the Terrans with those Bailing drops. There's the stem, trying to kill off those last remaining Zerg forces in his base. <coughs> that was just totally cool. Oh, and Virox conceded the game. They still could have played. But I guess that was Virox's trump card right there. Oh, man. I was still would have loved to see this game continue. He still could have done something. But there's the GG. So we have to go with that. I've hoped you enjoyed watching this cast. I sure did. That was just awesome. I wish the Bailey drop worked a little bit better. That would have been cool. But nevertheless, that was a good game. Well, I'm Maverick. And I hope you enjoyed my cast. And I'll see y'all next time.